Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my love release. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm so very happy you found me. I do still hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap or creative. Y'all, I have been sitting here all freaking day trying to figure, trying to be creative. My muse is not with me today. She has left me hanging out, out. I'm I just, I have done, I have done my makeup and wiped it off three times in the last four hours. <laughs> I am so, I'm so, but I was like bound and determined that I was going to do something worth worthwhile today. So this is what we landed on. I'm actually very, very happy with it. I think it is very, very pretty. If y'all could see my desk right now, it is an absolute, absolute disaster. It looks like a mini tornado came and just decided to fiddle with the top of my desk. It's, it's absolutely uh, terrible, but this is the eye look. Excuse me, I have allergies like crazy, but this is the eye look. What do we think? I went for like a paint splatter, uh, like lizard skin kind of like vibe. I went for a vibe, maybe like kind of camo, but I wanted to use pink and orange and white. And I actually really, really love the way that it came out. It looks so, so pretty. I hope that the camera is doing it justice. It is very paint, paint splattered, uh, very graphic, but abstract kind of look. I am so, so in love with it. Uh, we've got pink and orange and all kinds of really beautiful rhinestone. It's pretty. This is what we're doing today. This was the most colorful, the, uh, the most artistic thing that I could conjure up today. So this is what we're doing. I already outlined my eye with a little bit of concealer uh, just because y'all if y'all know anything about or if y'all have ever tried to do a look like this you guys know how difficult it is to make everything uh symmetrical and I just we would have been here for two hours if I would have sat here and tried to do that first little bit of concealer with y'all but she's mapped out uh we're gonna take my elf this is my 16 hour camo concealer. Uh, this is in the shade Fair uh, Fair Rose. Yeah, Fair Rose. It's one of my absolute favorites for uh, using, uh, like for a cut crease. It's really good. Y'all, it goes down like freaking concrete. Once it dries, it's not moving. And I love that about it. Uh, I'm gonna take my Dew Color Concealer Brush. This is my Dew Color 05 and just start to fill this in. Uh, we're going to go in with a really cool technique here in just a minute, uh, but I can't do anything until I get the eye filled in. As of right now, it is very, very late Saturday morning or Sunday morning or very, very early Sunday morning, very, very late Saturday evening. And I tried, y'all, I tried so hard all day to do something that was like worth it and like worth my time. But I was just, I was just completely and totally blocked to blocked today. There are days when the makeup gods smile down on me and say, okay, you can have all the inspiration in the world today you can sit down and basically achieve whatever your little imagination can conjure up. But today I had the ideas. I just couldn't, I couldn't make them work. I tried earlier to do a, uh, like a, a goldfish look and it actually in real life looked so beautiful. It was so pretty and I was so happy with it. But then when I went to try to photograph it, y'all, it just looked so lackluster and so sorry. Like it wasn't showing up, the pictures weren't showing up uh, like bright and it just, it really just looked very amateur and crude. And I was like, no, because I actually really, really loved it. I loved it in person. It was so beautiful. It was, I had like all kinds of uh, glitter on and it was like this really beautiful 
bright orange moment. My little eyes uh, were like bright gold. And then I had fishtails drawn. I posted it. I posted it. If y'all uh, want to go check out my Facebook page, uh, the link for that will be in the description box below. But if y'all want to go check that out, totally check it out. And then let me know in the comments what you really thought of it. Uh, I posted it just because, uh, not because I was like, you know, particularly proud of it or because I thought it was amazing. Uh, but, you know, I just, it is okay to have bad makeup days. Like, it's okay. Like, sometimes you sit down and, like like I said, the, the muse is just not with you. Sometimes you can have the best idea in the world. I'm going to go into the ABH Norvina Volume 5 palette. And the only reason I'm digging into this one is for this really beautiful white, ooh, is for this really beautiful white <laughs> right there. I'm trying not to show y'all what's going on down here. Not like I have anything to hide. I'm going in with this really beautiful white right here. I'm going to take that on a large uh, eyeshadow brush. Um, I have no idea what I was saying. Anyway, the uh, link for that will be in the description box below. I just posted it because I just, it's, okay to have bad days like sometimes the makeup that I come up with is so awesome and so amazing and I can sit there and I can be so incredibly proud of it and feel like you know I can feel like such a professional you know and I can feel like I really know what I'm doing and then I sit down at my at my desk to, on days like this days like today and I flounder you know and I feel like you know you do that and I mean it's possible to do that and just about every aspect of life really like people flounder people people flounder sometimes not even just like in a bad way or that it's a bad thing like you, it just you can't always it just doesn't always happen like that and times like today days like today make me appreciate the uh you know the good days that much more because y'all a bad makeup day is not a good day it is not a good day. Uh, my, I was so frustrated. I was sitting here and my poor face. You know, I did this big, like grandiose uh, goldfish look and y'all, you know, I went all out. I was like glitter galore. There was glitter literally everywhere. I had put all kinds of eyeliner on and then to sit there And look at something that you've literally spent like two hours creating and just know that it's just ugh, it's just not it but then I sat down I took a minute I regrouped I sat down and I took a minute we're gonna go in to the ace beauté uh, so I just got these these were part of my birthday order hide the bra straps these were part of my birthday order that I placed with uh the boxy charm I got uh, the boxy charm mega drop shop I got a couple of ace beauty palettes this one is really beautiful it is the scarlet dusk palette so so beautiful I freaking gouged it today and I was so upset about that uh but I'm gonna go in with a couple different colors uh from this palette and then this is really just gonna be kind of a base because then I'm gonna go in with some super super cheapy uh cream eyeshadows from shop Misse of all places and it's just really gonna bring everything together but I loved this eyeshadow palette so much uh, I really just kind of wanted to use this as a base for what I'm doing uh, so I'm gonna go in first with the deepest shade in the palette which is called sangria and I, I just have a piece of uh, balled up tissue paper here and I'm just gonna start tapping this all over the eye I'm gonna keep it mostly To the outer corner and I'm just gently tapping y'all see I'm just gently tapping the tissue paper into the eyeshadow and it's picking up just a tiny amount this is the tissue technique and I've been wanting to experiment with this technique for a while now um, but I just I can never I've always got something else to do, but by golly, today, I was like, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. Uh, so now I'm going to go into this really beautiful bright orange shade. It's called Crimson, but it's not crimson at all. It's actually a very, very beautiful neon coral shade. 
Mm. I think that this technique is so pretty and so easy. We can always take a Q-tip and clean up uh, our edge, which is what we're going to do here very shortly. But I just am going to get all of my color stamped on first. I'm going to go into what pink pink moon so this one right here y'all i did my nails this morning today too they actually turned out pretty well i actually really really like them look how pretty that is it's so messy and so abstract but i think it is so so very interesting we're gonna go over it with a couple of uh, cream shadows now just to really lock things in and give a little punch of color. I'm going to take a separate piece of turlet paper. <laughs> turlet paper. Does anybody watch, did anybody watch the Cleveland show? Oh my goodness gracious. What was her name? Oh my goodness. I can't remember it for anything. Y'all, she, she was the big old lady. Sweet, sweet, as, sweet as pie, but a big old lady. And uh, she was somebody's wife. And y'all, she redneck. Redneck is a day as long, but she, she used to say turlet. <laughs> and I remember it used to make me giggle. Okay, so these are the Prism Cream Eyeshadows from Shop Miss A. These are a dollar a piece, and I have had these for a good long while and actually forgot I had them. Uh, the They are not the best things in the world. I would say that they would be all right to kind of like... They're just really, really thick. They're not super, super pigmented kind of show you guys what the texture of them looks like they're they're super sheer they're not a very like workable texture the only thing I could think that you could use these for that it would be like really nice for would be maybe a uh, like a cut crease situation or maybe to like face paint or do something creative but for the most part they're just not they're not as pigmented uh, for being something like this as you would want them to be. Uh, they're working for this application because I'm not really spreading them out or uh, really moving them very much. I'm just kind of like, I'm just stamping it onto my eyelid. But because I have just recently found them, I do want to play with them a little bit more in the near future and kind of see what they're all about. I really like the texture it adds to the eyelid as well because it's not a powder so it doesn't go on flat. It gives a little bit of dimension to the eyelid and I like that. I like the texture. I think it's super, super interesting. Uh, this eye look did end up being pretty artistic. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I wish that the goldfish look I had done earlier had turned out just a smidge better. Just a smidge better. And I would have been able to like post it with pride. And not even that it turned out, but just that it uh, ha had photographed better. And y'all, I kept trying. I'm trying to find the purple one. I've lost. I had a purple one of them too. And I put it somewhere and don't remember where on earth I put it. You know what happened? Is it probably fell? No, I didn't. I put it away. The first time I actually put something away. What was I saying? Y'all, I'm so scatterbrained. <laughs> uh, it's not that it didn't turn out great. Uh, because it was actually very, very pretty. IRL. And, you know, but uh, it just, y'all, it didn't photograph. And I have like a, I don't have the best camera. I film on my iPhone. Uh, so I kind of have to, you know, I kind of have to work with it and work with the pictures. And I try to do looks that I know are gonna be capturable on camera. Look how beautiful that is. I know it looks like a mess, but it's so pretty. I think it is so, so pretty. All right, we're gonna clean it up now. I'm just gonna use a Q-tip and some simple eye makeup remover. I really, really like this. Y'all, if, if, I, if I could count how many Q-tips and uh, you know, drops of eye makeup remover I have used today, y'all, I probably could have saved a tree because it's been quite a few. I'm just going to take it around the perimeter of my eye and just clean up any
stray bits of shadow, anything that escaped. My very carefully drawn lines, because I do want the edge of this to be as clean as possible. That's really what gives it its um, uniqueness, I think, is because it's very, very chaotic, but uh, it's chaotic, but still structured at the same time. Which I think is what makes it so interesting. And then my son today. Y'all, he is in a growth spurt. Heaven have mercy. That boy is in a growth spurt. If he grows anymore, I, I'm not going to be able to house him. Y'all, he is 11 years old. He's six foot two, 200 pounds, and really just a freaking monster, okay? I love him so much, but he's a freaking monster. He is, oh my goodness, to feed that boy. Y'all, I literally, <laughs> I have to go to the grocery store every single day. Y'all, he went through a 24 case of Coke. A 24 case of Coke in two days. How? How? How can one person consume that much liquid? Y'all, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I love him so much. But if he grows any more, if there are any more, uh, I'm going to use this now. This is the Revolution. Make uh, this, what, what are you? <laughs> I, this is the, this is an eyeliner. It's the pastel eyeliner. This is in the shade pink one though. This is baby pink. So the baby pink makeup revolution pastel liquid eyeliner. I'm going to take this and do a little tiny line. Just across my upper lash line. I really enjoy this eyeliner. Be careful because if you do, just like with most liquid eyeliners, y'all, if you get this in your eye, it stings so bad. <laughs> I was in a rush earlier and I kind of poked myself in the eye with it just a little bit. Y'all, oh, goodness gracious. But... It is a beautiful, beautiful pastel eyeliner. Nicely pigmented. Uh, it doesn't build up amazingly well, but it does build. You just have to be careful not to build it like too much or it can get like a little cracky. But for the most part, a really, really beautiful product, and I really, really enjoy it. So we're doing just a little bit of a mini wing. We're still going to go back and clean up this little piece here in just a minute, but I wanted to get my wing drawn first, so that way I didn't take off too much before I could get everything drawn in. While that is drying, we're going to go on the lower lash line, and we're going back in to my KVD pigment sticks. Guys, I use those freaking things for absolutely everything. I love them so, so much. I wish that I had more colors. They are one of the most surprisingly useful products that I have bought all freaking year. Uh, I'm going to go in first with the Milani. This is the Supreme Cold Kajal eyeliner just in the shade black. And I'm going to line my upper uh, waterline. But yeah, if that boy grows anymore, like I can't afford to feed him. I'm going to have to put him to work. I knew that was going to happen. Because that's just the kind of day I'm having. But that's okay. We'll go back in and we'll fix it. But y'all, I can't afford to feed him. I'm going to have to put him to work in order to continue uh, to nourish him. Because, wow. And... You know, it's summertime and he's officially out of school. He was officially done with school yesterday. He hasn't gone all week, um, but it's because the teachers said that they weren't uh, going to count absences. So I just didn't make him go. I just wasn't going to make him go. But he's now officially done. And for some reason to me, that just means like summer's 
like officially started now. So now I'm trying to think of like, what activities do we want to do? And what are we going to do this summer? And, you know, like, it's not like we really go on vacations and stuff. Uh, but we usually are pretty active. During the summer. The summer is my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite time of the year. Y'all, we live, we, we live at the lake. We live for swimming. My, my son, I'm telling you, is a fish. That boy will swim. He will stay in the water all day, every day. He will stay in there until you make him come home and he will gripe the entire time because he would 100% rather be in the water than anywhere else. So we usually walk. I'm just going to go back over that with a little bit more of the eyeliner. Uh, but in the summer, we usually live at the, at the lake. And, but Sean loves the beach. And we live in North Carolina. And though we're not a landlocked state, we live in a part of North Carolina. We live in the mountains. And y'all, we're nowhere near an ocean. <laughs> we are nowhere near an ocean. Uh, so one of my absolute favorite, favorite places is the beach. And I've only been, like, my son's only been to see the ocean uh, twice. So we were really hoping that this year, look how pretty. I'm so in love with it. I think it is just, oh, I love it so much. We're going to do a little bit of a liquid liner situation now. Uh, I'm going to go in with another Shop Miss A product. Y'all, Shop Miss A is where it is at. If you like check like their website semi uh, often, sometimes you find hidden treasures uh, like this. This is the Santee Diamond Eyeliner. Oh, I have this in three different colors. This is the pink one. And y'all, it is the most beautiful pigmented glitter liner. Like a lot of times glitter liner will be glitter suspended in a clear solution. Uh, but what I was really looking for was glitter suspended in a colored solution. I wanted a colored glitter liner. Guys, I came across these on Shop Miss A and I freaking lost my mind. And I only had enough money to get one of each. And I am telling you, I use these all the time. I wish I would have been able to get like 20 more. Because honestly, products like this are few and far between. Especially products like this that I can afford. A lot of indie brands make products like this. Or like higher end brands, maybe like Urban Decay. But y'all, I can't afford Urban Decay. No, sir. No, ma'am. Like, I just cannot. I cannot for like $15 for a glitter liner. I cannot do it. But I can do a dollar. I can do a dollar. So it, it just makes, like like I said, these little finds such insane treasures. It just makes you appreciate them that much more. I'm just taking this glitter liner and taking it along the uppermost edge of uh, the concealer just to kind of clean it up a little bit, give it a little bit of structure, uh, give it a little bit of definition. I'm going to line the wing. And the good thing about this is though uh, it, the applicator is super, super small and you do not get a lot of product at one time. It is beautifully buildable. So if you're patient and give the first layer just a little bit of time to dry and go over it with a second, it really gives you this beautiful, bright, glittery um, kind of color payoff. It is so, so nice and is a perfect kind of compliment to this eye look. It really just kind of uh, 
everything in and it just kind of connects everything. And that bright pink just kind of brings out the brighter tones in those colors that we used. It, I know it's for some of y'all, this might not be your thing and I completely understand. This might look super chaotic and kind of messy to you, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of living for it. I think it is so, so beautiful. I'm here for it. So back to the pigment sticks. I'm gonna go, I have two colors here. I have orange and pink. We're gonna go in with the orange first and they're basically just like eyeshadow sticks, but oh, is that dirt? No, it's glue. Uh, but they're so pigmented and so creamy. I love these things so, so much. Like I said, if I could find other colors of this, I would pick them up in a heartbeat. When I tell y'all, I have been checking Burks every other day, like not the actual facility, but online trying to see uh, if I can find them online in like different colors because Lord have mercy I love them so much uh, so I did the orange and I did that on the bottom and then I'm going to take the pink and go right into the waterline great great eyeliner face uh, the camera is not showing you guys the distinction the color distinction that I wish that it would but it is beautiful it ties in the that bright crimson shade from the Ace Beauté palette along with the pink liner uh, in such a way that it just makes everything that much brighter and glow a little bit more and then of course we're gonna top it off with a little bit of mascara still using the curl bounce mascara y'all I'm gonna use it till it's gone but I really really like it I can tell she's like starting to age a little bit though because she's starting to get just a little bit thick. And though there's nothing wrong with a thick chick, uh, I can tell that like clumpy stage is coming. So I'm trying to use as much of it as I can before I can't use it anymore. Don't you just hate that mascaras do that? Don't you just hate that they like clump up on you and essentially become unusable? I just don't think that that's fair, especially when you find a mascara that's as good as this one I really really do enjoy this mascara it's not the most volumizing or lengthening thing in the world but I tell y'all what it uplifts my lashes and like it just keeps them there this is the waterproof variation it works a lot better when I remember to curl my eyelashes but I forgot to do that but that's okay I never have to put more than like one or two coats on and it just does what it's supposed to do. I love it so, so much. Guys, what do we think? Do we like it? Do we love it? Would we wear it? Is this something that was like, maybe, is it my redemption for today? Uh, is it my redemption for that God awful, uh, goldfish look or do we still need to work on it because it's okay sometimes sometimes we just don't have great makeup days but I do know that the next time I sit down I will remember this look and be very very happy with it because I am very very happy with it uh guys I hope you enjoyed this video just kind of like a chatty get chatty get ready with me though we're getting ready to go nowhere y'all know I don't leave my house uh but just enjoy sitting down together and doing our makeup before we go I do y'all we have to do the rhinestones uh, because I do think that the rhinestones just 100% bring this look like to where it needs to be this is a set of rhinestones that I got off of Sheen Beauty I think I paid like four dollars for this it was super super affordable and this thing goes on sale all the time uh, I'm gonna take my uh like lash applicators and I had oh and some duo lash glue I'm going to put just a little bit of duo lash glue right here on my dresser on my desk and I think I'm going to use these ones they're like this really beautiful kind of like chameleon pink color I don't know if y'all can see that or not but they're, they're so pretty I'm going to glue five of these just along my upper lash line You, I dip them in the glue and then place them on me, my eye. I know some people do it a little bit differently. I know there are some people who use the lash glue that you uh, paint on 
and they just kind of dot the lash glue on first and then go in with the gemstone. That would totally work as well. This is just how I do it. This is just uh, what seems easiest to me, though I have been on the hunt for one of those, uh, you know, those like uh, rubber tipped, is that backwards? That's upside down. You know those rubber tipped applicators? They're like, they're, they're, they're for picking up gemstones. I've been looking for one of those and they had one on Shop Miss A, but it was sold out. And then I know they sell some on Sheen as well but I'm not placing an order with Sheen right now. So it's kind of a moot point. I keep hoping that I'll come across or like stumble across one. Oh, they're trying to be a pain in the high knee and not get pick, picked up. Uh, but I'm hoping, I keep hoping that I'll get lucky and stumble across one at like my local Walmart. And I really have to be honest with myself and, and realize that that's probably not something they're going to stock at my Walmart. Y'all, I've even looked at the arts and crafts in the arts and crafts section at Walmart. And I'll tell you what, the arts and crafts section is one of the most inspiring places at Walmart for me. I go there and I find all kinds of like ribbon bows and like uh, fabric little hearts and flowers and stuff. And all kinds of super cute stickers or... Uh, uh, Oh, let me show y'all. I got a big pack of like rhinestones. They're like super, super chunky. And you're supposed to use them for like scrapbooking and stuff. But I thought these were just so cute. I can't show them to you because my nails prevent that. And then I got these cute little bees that are just freaking adorable. I was thinking of doing like maybe a, like a bee flower look. I don't know. But I think the crafts section is such is such a fun place especially when you're just like trying to be creative and like trying to like get inspired I'll tell you what one of my favorite places is the arts and crafts aisle and then the paint aisle and I know that that sounds so so odd but a lot of times I will just go and I will stand in front of the paint swatches I know it sounds so odd but I will I will stand in front of the paint swatches and I'll just look at the colors I'll just look because a lot of times they have them organized in such a way as to be inspiring or to catch the eye or sometimes there are colors next to each other uh, that you wouldn't necessarily you know think to put together I also really really love like home decorating sites and like room uh like room mock-ups and stuff like that I just find it to be so so incredibly inspiring and not only that but when I'm wanting to go for something like a little bit more subtle and maybe a little bit elevated I can always like try to go there and find like uh, an inspired elevated uh color story or maybe even just a direction you never know where inspiration is gonna strike so always be open to it always be open open to finding the inspiration Guys, this is our eye look for today. Uh, I'm going to definitely finish my face and, you know, I'll, I will be posting because I'm actually pretty happy uh, with this eye look. But we've been here for 30 minutes already. And if I do my base, we're going to be here for another hour. So I will not hold you hostage any longer. But thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Y'all, I love you so, so very much. I am so, so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. I know it is precious. As always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with my makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, the links for all of my other social medias will be in the description box below, along with everything that I used in today's video. So make sure you check that out. And until next time, Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.